Welcome. In this session, let us look into how to run our Playwright test in a Docker container. So mainly the Docker container will be running in remote and our test will be running in our local system and the browser test or the browser will be opened inside the Docker containers. You will invoke your test from your local machine. Also, I would be showing you how to take screenshots and even how to take video for your test which are running inside the docker container okay for this you don't need to install playwright also in your local system if you are in the process of developing you might not need to install the playwright also in your local system so all your test will be all your browser tests basically will be run inside that docker container okay so first thing you need to start your container docker so for that uh, we already have this command so this is the command with which you will start your docker container and which will run your playwright server docker run minus p is the port and then rm rm dash dash rm will automatically remove the container after it stops and in it is uh, docker's init system to which will properly handle your child processes inside your container okay dash it is for interactive mode which is used for debugging i just copied it from playwright site so i will show you that from where i got it and then work directory is for setting your working directory inside the container slash home slash pw user and which user is going to run is pw user which will run the container as the pw user instead of running it as root which actually improves security okay and the mcr microsoft.com playwright uh, this is the microsoft's playwright docker image specifically the version i am using is 1.52 which is needs to be the same version which is running in your uh, for your test or from wherever uh, you are running right so this needs to match and then finally you will uh, run the shell command inside the container which is the this npx and then it will launch your playwright server playwright at the rate version 1.51 and uh, dash port is equals to 3000 which is going to expose this port and then uh, host 00 is for allowing external connection okay npx is actually node uh, node.js thing node.js package manager that uh, will actually allow us to execute npm package without installing them uh, in the system in this case it is uh, actually the container it comes with this node package manager npm uh, and uh, well we, we, do, we don't need to worry much about it so that's the full command which for running our docker container wherever you want to run it actually so let us go to our browser and uh, in the browser this is the playwright url playwright site playwright.dev and then i am working with python so this is python and then you will have the docker okay docs slash docker and actually you can uh, scroll down in here and you will actually see integrations and then here you will see this docker okay now in this page if you scroll down and you can come down below okay so let me actually talk about this one so uh, there is another way of running this wherein you can actually build your docker file and you can put your test in Inside it and it will automatically run and it will give you uh, the results and all but um, what we feel better is the remote way of running okay? running in in a remote docker container okay this is the command which i took it from here uh, study playwright server in docker we don't need to worry much you can just copy this one and run it wherever our docker uh, is installed okay now this one's example is showing 1.51 but uh, i have 1.52 that's why i am using 1.52 otherwise uh, all the other things are actually same okay, so let's go back to our system okay now in our prompt command prompt actually i will uh, hit enter and start this container okay so this is running this is showing that listening on this 0, .0, 0 dot colon 3000 i have not put minus d for daemon mode but uh, that's okay whenever i want i can stop it and it's really fast once you have the image in your system first time if you run you it will download uh, this image from microsoft.com playwright and then uh, whatever version you specify so it is going to download it first time otherwise uh, it's uh, really fast to just start it okay now let's uh, minimize this and go back to our vs code editor i have actually a simple test in here so this is one test uh, let me quickly go through this so i am using the playwright uh, fixture which is again provided by playwright okay playwright has some built-in fixtures which it provides uh, for writing our test with pytest so pytest playwright uh, is the uh, package pip install pytest dash playwright uh, which you need to do uh, so that's all there in the documentation no need to worry much now we initiated a browser instance with this uh, 
command playwright.chromium.connect and then the same url ws colon slash slash uh, localhost this is localhost i am running this docker container in my localhost so 127.0.0.1 and then 3000 port and then uh, we do the other steps which we need for working with playwright browser.new new page and then we just go to a site playwright.dev and then we just assert actually here playwright in the title and then uh, I'm just trying to print it in here, paste the title, and then finally browser to close and playwright dot stop. Okay. Now oh, one thing here, uh, I'm going to run it from this uh, console itself, uh, VS Code console. So let me show you the pytest.ini. So this is the pytest ini, which uh, these options are actually goes into when you run the pytest command, right? So and that's why I have put it in here so that I don't need to type all these things every time. So minus V is for verbose, minus S is if you want to see the print uh, statements in your output, and then headed mode. Uh, this is for playwright and slow mo the test will be running slowly it's two seconds and then i have put screenshots on and then full page screenshot and then video on but uh, the thing here is this uh, screenshots and this uh, video thing will not work because we are using let's go to our test again we are using the playwright fixtures okay if we are using the page fixtures then the screenshots and the video will be available uh, in our folder itself so it will automatically create one folder here and it will be available but uh, since we are using playwright uh, this is not available uh, the screenshots and, and the video will not be available automatically when you run your test okay so actually let us try to run this test and at least see that our tests are running and uh, you should actually see the pass uh, or fail whatever uh, your test gives this is a very simple test so let us try to run this one and click to run test here this play button click on it okay and it looks like it finished uh, running our test and you can see here one pass okay now this test is actually done so that's all how you can actually run your test inside the container inside your remote docker container so in case uh, if you want to get a screenshots and all with this one you can actually do page dot screenshot and you can save it to a folder you will see that getting generated screenshot getting generated somewhere wherever path which you provide in your systems folder okay but uh, we are not going to do that let me actually show you a better way of doing that I mean, uh, using the PyTest Playwrights uh, inbuilt command prompts, this one, does just screenshot on and uh, video on, automatically it is going to generate that. Okay, so let us try to do that. So for doing that, let me actually put in another test and I will actually show you that. Okay, so dev test underscore example two. And this time I am using a page is the fixture which is provided by playwright and then again on the page here okay so let me put in the rest of the code in here okay so this is again a very simple test we are just doing page dot go to bing dot com and then we are asserting that bing is there in the title and then just putting a time dot slip in here for two seconds so that actually uh, once we record this uh, with the dash dash video on mode we should be able to see this uh, bing.com okay and then we go to another site playwright.dev and then asserting that playwright is in the title and then again uh, we're trying to print it here so you will see this print in the out okay so for the first one when we ran you can see here page.title first and level for this thing okay so this was the print statement in our previous test where we are running so this was the code in here okay now so this is not going to work okay if i run this this is not going to work because this is going to expect that i am trying to run it in my uh, local playwright server okay but i don't have a playwright server in here so if i try to run this you will see that playwright install looks like playwright was just installed or arbitrary please run the following command or download new browsers using playwright install so playwright is also not installed in my system okay if you remember our previous test was running fine because it was running within that container the playwright server was running inside that container okay that's how it, it was able to run now let me actually do the uh, main thing so we need to set up this uh, playwright chromium dot connect and all this thing inside a fixture so how do you write fixtures in playwright we write fixtures in playwright in the conf test dot py file right dot py file so let us actually go into this folder and then let me create a file conf test dot py file and in this file we are going to put in our fixtures okay so let us do our import thing import first thing we have to import is the pytest and then we will import this other things import playwright dot sync api import uh, sync underscore playwright playwright and then page okay next thing is we need to create our fixture so pytest dot fixture scope session and we will uh, write our fixtures okay so dev playwright is our fixture name 
and actually we don't need this one so we will so we will write our code for starting the playwright okay so let me put like this pw equals to sync playwright sync underscore playwright dot start okay and then we will yield this playwright and uh, we will have to create another fixture for initializing our browser okay sync play underscore playwright dot start and then we'll uh, yield this pw and eventually we will do a pw dot stop okay now that's our first uh, fixture and next fixture is we will do a another fixture def this will be browser fixture browser and don't need this one playwright we just need playwright and this is going to call this uh, previous fixture this is the second fixture and the second fixture is calling this uh, playwright fixture these are actually by default already available we are just trying to override in here okay so browser equal to playwright dot chromium dot connect okay this is the code which we need to do and in this code we will provide this ws colon 127.0.0.1 and then we'll close this one and then finally we will yield this browser or actually you can do return also so we will return browser in that case it's fine okay so uh, that's about it we are uh, able to create our fixtures which is going to initialize and uh, this is going to initialize the browser and run our test inside this docker container okay that's all about it so let's go to our test uh, function now this is our test function and we are using the page and uh, other things we have initialized the browser and the playwright uh, thing we have initialized inside our conf test when I mean, we have overridden the existing one which is available in playwright okay we have overridden with our custom fixtures okay now let us try to run this one and see how it works so let me run this okay so it looks like our test has completed successfully and you can see finished running test and then you can see one passed and the good thing here is you should also see this folder new folder test dash results and you can see there are two files one is test finished png which is coming from this uh, screenshot which uh, go, let's go to our pytest.ini screenshot on and then full page screenshot i have provided right so we should see this uh, screenshot in here and then we have provided this video mode so whatever test it, it would have run it would have recorded in the video which you can see in this video dot webm okay so let's go to our folder and in our folder you should see this test re test results and uh, this was our test right pi test demo dash test dash example 2 so let's go inside this folder and you can see this uh, png file and so let's make it bigger and you can see here this was our uh, the full page screenshot which is coming from our test so let me close this one this is fine and you can also see the video so let me run this video and you can see that this was the bing and then uh, and then it was really fast and then other page was the playwright dot dev page okay so let me close this and uh, let's go back and this was our test demo so that's what we are doing we are just going to bing page and we are sleeping here time dot sleep and then we are going to playwright dot dev and uh, finally this was our print statement page dot title is fast and reliable blah blah all the other things okay so that's how actually you can run your playwright test in a docker container and also you can take the screenshots and the video if there was any test failure so by the way screenshot on option is there and uh, let me show you in our playwright documentations so in our playwright documentation if you scroll up a bit and you come to your pytest plugin reference click on this one and uh, come down here and you can see dash dash screenshot option whether to automatically capture a screenshot after its test you can provide on off or only on failure okay if you provide this only on failure then it is going to take the screenshot only on failure similarly for the video also you have this option of retain on failure these are the two things which uh, i mean i am using on here so this video mode and the screenshot mode are the two things which i was using in my pytest.ini file okay now finally this is our test and both of our tests are run properly and i was able to show you how to run inside a docker container in a remote container it can be the container can be running anywhere either local system or another remote system as well and second example we have seen how to take screenshots and then video mode video also using our pytest playwrights inbuilt prompts okay command arguments actually so that's all in this session thank you and we'll see you in the next one